DJI's Mavic Pro has hit the market. It's cool, but still very expensive. So is there a better deal on a starter or first drone? Yes, there is. And that deal is DJI's Phantom 3 standard for just around $500. So you may be wondering, how can I get it less than $500? It's usually way more than that, right? Well, GearBest hooked me up with a promo code to get the drone for $450 instead of $500, which is still a pretty great price. The code is available till the first day of 2017, but if I get a new code, I'll post in the description of this video. Link to purchase and code down below. So first, the design. Classic DJI. The well-known shape, coloring, and style that DJI is known for. I won't focus much on the design because it's kind of the same for all the Phantom drones, but the quality of this drone feels excellent. Compared to the Mavic, the main disadvantage advantage of course is the size and portability. The drone does not fold up and the propellers need to be unscrewed each time during transport. You do get a second set though if you mess them up, like I did. The big size is a positive in my eyes as you can see it easier in the sky if you're a starter pilot. That's also a negative for some situations too. The removable and replaceable battery is located on the back. Press once to check status and a full charge lasts about 25 minutes in the air so not really too bad at all. That's a lot more air time than you think. The controller included with the drone is pretty nice. It feels solid, but is also quite large too. Your phone is used as a viewfinder. No tablets for this one as the mount is pretty small. But speaking of your phone, DJI's mobile app is actually very well designed. Many functions I haven't even touched or played with yet, but I'm very impressed with the overall ease of use and overall simplicity. Amazing job, DJI. The drone connects to the controller with a Wi-Fi connection instead of the new, better OcuSync or LightBridge connection. This in turn limits overall range, connection, and provides a more grainy live feed from the skies at only 720p. The max range is 500 meters, and that's great for a starter drone, but it's not compared to the range of more expensive and newer drones. Distance hasn't really stopped me yet. Some say there are workarounds to get more range, but I wouldn't really try that. Now, actually flying it is awesome. This is my very first time owning and flying a drone, and it's very easy to figure out. The drone handles itself very well, and the controller and app provides a very smooth overall experience most of the time. The camera shoots 2.7K video, so not 4K, but looks very impressive regardless. It can also take 12 megapixel photos. The gimbal setup works very well and uses a micro SD card for storage. You really need a good gimbal for drone footage or it just looks too shaky. The 3 standard delivers exceptional results. Here are some examples I shot over my testing period. I may post more shots on social media and you can expect more drone footage in future videos in the future, so let's watch. I was always someone who thought drones were just a waste of money, until this drone changed my whole opinion on that. It's fun to fly, shoots great footage, and is just generally cool. It is missing some things that the Mavic has like better portability, better tracking, better transmission, 4K recording, obstacle avoidance, and other things too. It sounds like it's missing a lot, but it really isn't. This is a highly reliable and high quality drone. That's great if you're starting out or don't want to spend a lot on a drone. Plus, if you crash it, you'll feel less horrible. Link to purchase down below. And that's it. So what do you think of the DJI Phantom 3 standard? It's a pretty good deal, right? Let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.